Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been a while since I made a video, um, but I just wanted to talk about some stuff that's been going on lately. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't made a video recently. Um, I've just had a lot uh, been going on in my life uh, with school and, and work and um, this and that. Uh, the devil's been uh, messing with me the past couple days. I've been like in a real funky mood, just like down in the down in the dumps for the past couple days for some reason. I think the devil's been <clears throat> messing with me and bringing me down. Um, but keep praising the Lord. When you feel like that, you know, just turn on some. Christian music and sing to the Lord and praise God and continue reading reading the Bible and put your faith in Him and uh, He'll bring you out of it. Uh, he always does. He always does. Um, but anyways, I want I just wanted to bring some stuff uh, to your guys' attention that's been going on. Um, let's see. There was a huge funeral for a uh, for a rabbi in Israel today, and it was just a huge funeral, like the the biggest that that they've ever had, I think. Um, so that's going on, and keep an eye on that because you never know. That's like a you know. A, a terrorist could go in there and just blow himself up and, you know, God, you know, pray to God that that doesn't happen. That'd be horrible if that happened. Uh, so that, there's something that's going on in Israel. Um, I guess there's some priests that uh, got in trouble for trying to perform an exorcist or a uh, exorcism on somebody. But from what I got, I guess they kidnapped him. Um and tried to do it, uh, so, I mean, they're going on trial for that, for kidnapping, you know, I, I don't, I don't think that's right, you know, they should, uh, seek help on their own, and, you know, let God deal with that, um, so that's, ha that happened, um, uh, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, uh, was talking and was quoting scripture and and um, uh, basically you know just admitted that you know like hey you know we are living in the end times and uh, she was just talking about that and I thought that was really cool that you know we have at least one Congress person <laughs> that that still believes in in the Word of God and is not afraid to speak up about it. A uh, preacher in Missouri was arrested for preaching in the streets. Uh, I guess he was too loud. He was hooked up to microphone and speaker, and he was too loud, and they were, uh, arrested him. Um, a bunch of truck drivers are, are doing like they're going to try to shut down some highways, major roads in, in Washington. I'm not sure when that's going to take place, but they're going to do that, I guess, in a protest for the government shutting down and... Oh boy, this whole government shutdown is starting to get bad. It's only going to get worse too if you know, something doesn't happen. Um, as far as Comet Ison goes, um, a lot of people are thinking it's going to fizzle out and it's really not going to do anything. You know, I don't know. No, I'm not really sure. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it caused a lot of hype and, and media, you know, had a media presence in, in the news and all that, so as far as I'm concerned, it, it was still a sign in the heavens that the Bible talks about, whether it lives up to the hype, you know, I'm not sure, but I, I think it was still a sign in the heavens. Uh, that's going on, I guess there was a solar eruption that was earth facing I think I don't know I got that from 
BP Earthwatch's channel. I get a lot of my information from other people's channels. Uh, BP Earthwatch. I got that from him. Uh, he has... He gets some good information on, on what's going on in space. Um, and uh, Paul Bagley's channel. I watch him a lot. He's a, he's a pastor in Indiana. And uh, he has a really good U YouTube channel. You should check that out. It's Paul... Paul Begley, and that's B-E-G-L-E-Y. And uh, he also has a website <clears throat> uh, that you can go to, and he does like a three-hour show pretty much every day, except for Saturday. Um, he gives a lot of good end times news reports and real good man of God. I really like watching his videos and... Uh, BP Earthwatch. I really like watching watching his videos too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on today. Um, you know, just signs that we're living in the end. Not much time left. Things are starting to unravel every day. You know, it's it's, it's unraveling even more every day. And pretty soon, you know, it's gonna get all of it's gonna be undone and. You know, the end will come. And I don't think we're really too far away from that. I think uh, it's only a matter of time before uh, the Lord comes and catches it, catches his, uh, catches the church away in the sky. The rapture of the church. It's only a matter of time. Uh, I think it could be any time, really. It could, you know, be today. It could be ten years from now. Um... But I, I do know we're living in the last days. So it can't be too much longer, I guess. Um, but we always always need to be looking uh, for it. Every day, should, we should live like every day is our last day. Like the rapture could be today. You know, We should live like that. We should praise God and pray to God, be in constant prayer with God and the Lord. Um, and just living how He wants us to live. And spreading the word of Jesus, the gospel, to people. Um, whether it be through, you know, social networking, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, uh, in person, you know. That's that's something I struggle with, is doing it in person. I, I get real shy and uh, <laughs> kind of a shy person. And uh, I just have like a fear of... of witnessing in person the people and kind of jumping out and, and speaking up uh, in person. I have trouble with that and I've been praying about that. To, um, praying to God to help me with that. Um, I don't have a problem with um, if, you know, there's a conversation going on already. I don't have a problem at all jumping in there and talking about it. But um, as far as uh, rebuking people you know, face-to-face -face and, and stuff like that when you're doing something wrong. I have uh, problems doing that. So uh, if y'all could pray pray for me, giving me courage. I've been praying for God to give me courage to overcome that. Uh, that's something I've been struggling with. Uh, but um, there's a lot going on in the world right now. Um, just <laughs> It's like, man, what's tomorrow gonna what's tomorrow gonna bring? What you know, what prophecy is gonna be fulfilled tomorrow, you know? It's crazy, uh, how fast it's going now. We don't have much time left, guys. So just be doing uh the father's the father's will, be um be about your father's business. Um, spreading the gospel and, and uh, living how you should, repenting of your sins, um and if uh Make sure you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ um, and ask Him to forgive you of your sins and and start developing a relationship with Him and, and learning about the Lord Jesus Christ so that um, um, you can be saved um, and be counted worthy to escape the Lord's wrath when He pours it out on the world. Uh, but yep, yeah, just... Uh, little video for you guys. I know it's been a while since I've made one. I've been going through some stuff the past few days, but 
back on track. Lord's got me back on track, and uh, I'll try to make another video here in a day or two. Um, but you guys have a good day. God bless. I'll talk to you later.